Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a real quick video of what the office is looking like. I'm going to switch the camera around here in just a second and let you take a look at it. This is the first video that I've shot and edited right here on my iPhone. Well, as you know from the last video that uh, I don't have a job anymore and this is the screen printing press that I was talking about. So you're going to start to see more and more and more of this kind of thing coming up um, over the next few days and weeks uh, but we're going to be working hard to put together a t-shirt that all of you gardeners and all of the people well, everybody's just voted on themselves so this is this t-shirt screen printing press and if you've never seen anything like this before down there's the t-shirt flattens and that's where you would uh, uh, put your t-shirts and then up at the top is the screens and that's what you squeeze the ink through um, to print onto the shirts and then over here is a heater um, and then down below you can see over there in the back is the screens and some extra ink and a cutting board and some paper and stuff for the printers that we have back here as well. Now, I didn't say anything in the most recent video about the printers, but this is a um, an HP uh, DeskJet or DesignJet 5000 with the PostScript capabilities, and it will print up to 40 inches wide. And over here is a 60 inch wide screen printer or not screen printer, uh, printer, high definition printer. It's the same exact printer up to 60 inches wide. However, uh, they're fitted with different ink sets. This one set will print a, a UV ink and the 42 inch one will print a dye based ink. Now, the benefit of a dye based ink is, um, I, I just don't know everything yet, but one of the deals with a dye based ink is it gives us the ability to print that in a higher definition than a UV based ink which is over here. Now the UV stabilized ink, although it's less high definition, is still high definition really in dots per inch. And um, we can print right on, uh, like on a canvas, uh, we can print on vinyl, and then we can cut that vinyl out and you can stick that vinyl to your wall. So kind of like, a, think of like a fat head maybe, um, but that would be a, an idea. And then over here, pardon the tripod, but uh, over here is a 42 inch wide vinyl cutter. So we now have a vinyl cutter that's uh, at our disposal. And so all of these things here um, give us the ability to create an income. Uh, and I'm sure hoping we can figure out how to monetize it. I really don't know anything about this industry, but because of my desire to be sustainable, I sure am looking for sustainable, sustainably sourced materials. And if you have any ideas or way of places or people that you know who sell these sustainably sourced materials, recycled paper at an affordable rate, I would really like to know about it. Um, and then the last and final thing that I want to mention is the green screen. Now, uh, I know I showed it a little bit earlier in the video and I've taken some pictures, but this is the green screen. I have it set up over here in the corner, just got it painted and um, we have used Learn, learn or ladder uh, recycled or repurposed worn or ladder rails to basically make this false wall that the green screen's built on. And uh, boy, I'm excited. I can't wait to get to use it and really have some fun with it. But, uh, and this is where I do the World for Change TV broadcasts. Um, it's all set up here on the blue wall. Um, now this blue wall is a wall that we haven't even painted. So it was this color when we got in here and it seems to work well uh, for well, for the broadcast. Um, and then back here is the restroom, but I've got my worm bins in here in the office right now, and I've got a heat lamp under there so I don't have to heat the whole office. And a mirror, <laughs> which is an old hood from a heat lamp. Now, the cool thing about this mirror is it reflects the light that's coming up from underneath. Um, it reflects that light, bounces it back down, and I don't have to have lids on here and the worms won't climb out because of that light. Now I don't leave it on full time, but I do leave it on at night and I leave it on part of the time during the day. I know you're ask, gonna wanna ask me what this is and it looks horrible, but uh, I'm gonna let you guess. Please tell me what you think this is uh, setting here or planted here in the worm bin. And um, it looks sad. I'm gonna take it home today and plant it in another pot. But uh, it's something that we got from a local farmer we ate most of it and I planted it. What is it? I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please give us a rating, a thumbs up or a down, and comment. I will get back to you. God bless.